Oh, the girls love that. <laughs> Halifax here back in the shed. In the previous episode, you saw me bring the proton pack to my friend, the welder, to have it welded up. I went there today to pick it up, but I missed them because I ended up working late. So I'm going to have to run by there first thing tomorrow morning and uh, pick that up. But I came home today to a special delivery. Through the power of the internet, I met a friend. And this friend wanted to donate some pieces to me. So today I came home to the package with the pieces. I already know what's in here, but you guys at home don't. So I wanted to unbox it to show you all what's inside. It's uh, pretty wicked. All right, here we go. Wow. All right, so. This is wicked cool. Okay. My stuff has been in storage for 13 years. I have found almost everything I needed to complete my pack, except two or three key things. The main thing that I'm missing is my orange grips. Through the power of the internet, I made this friend, and not only could he cast me up a set of orange grips, these grips are cast directly off the actual superhero. No, I'm not lying. This isn't a second generation casting, a third generation casting. These are right off the superhero. Here they are here. Let's cut these things out of here. To have this is, I don't even know where to begin. look great. Wow. <laughs> Wicked cool. Such a lifesaver, man. Thank you for this opportunity. I... This is to totally insane. I can't believe this happened. You can actually see my hand shaking. I'm so excited. Wow, sir. Yeah, cast, right? These came right off the superhero. Lineage castings. Incredible. I, I'm at a loss of words, man. I'm at a loss of words because I asked for, for the grips. I said, oh man, thanks so much. You really, really helped me out. I, and I appreciate you doing this so quickly. And then he told me he wanted to contribute a couple more pieces to my superhero build. So, get this. Here's the ladder setup cast directly off the superhero. He did a phenomenal job wrapping everything. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> wow. Check out how wonky this is. Oh my god, I love it. Love it. Wow. You can even see uh, the pencils that they used. Oh my God, this is wicked insane. I can't believe this. The recess where they, they drilled for the screws. Wow. How did he pour this? How did he pour this? You can see all the little detail in it from when they, they made these. It's just insane. One thing I never realized was how thick this stuff is. Oh, it's even curved for the booster tube. I didn't even realize, I didn't even think of that. Okay. I got some lineage grips. I got a lineage ladder set up. I'm calling it a ladder, I sure hope. To God, things haven't changed, and it's still referred to as the ladder, as we called it back in the day. And now, check this out. The actual bumper. The actual bumper. 
I have a GB Fans one, but the one on GB, but my GB Fans one is actually rather wide for the shell that I'm using. It's probably a quarter inch wide. So I'm curious. Holy smokes. Wow. This, huh, huh. this is awesome. Oh my god. Totally insane. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe it. This is, oh my god. Again, so I wish my shell was here so bad. I wish the shell was here. I want to put this on the, the shell so bad tonight. Dang it. So. Here she is here. Check this out. You can see all the imperfections. <laughs> Incredible. Look how they, how they cut it so messed up over here. I never noticed on screen how much n none of this lines up. I have to respect the original guys who built these too because it's this is such an awkward piece to make. Today it's simple with 3D printing and everything. Totally insane. So there we have it. We got some lineage parts to go on my superhero tribute. I cannot thank this person enough. They have no idea what this means to me and whipping it out so fast for me. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, my damn show isn't here, so I can't put this on tonight. But first thing tomorrow night when I get home from work, the sucker's going on. I'm so excited for that. I do have the grips and I plan on working on the gun tonight. So let's see how far I can get on the gun and maybe install the grips. So let's safely put this stuff away and break out the thrower. So here is my thrower. This is an all aluminum build. I've had this for 13 years. This was this is a uh, freaky geeky thrower. They actually were the ones that supplied the aluminum throwers for Afterlife. This is one of his earliest runs, again, 13 years ago. So there's a few things that I need to modify. Like tonight I'm going to drill a hole for the wires for the flash bulb. Um, I'm going to open this up, take some measurements inside, start 3D printing some shelves and some wall brackets to start mounting the electronics to. With the risen throwers, it's easy because you don't have to worry about grinding anything out, but being all aluminum, when I put the electronics in here, I'm afraid of grounding stuff out, so I'm going to get some measurements, maybe make some paper templates um, to start 3D printing some um, brackets and shelves and some wall mounts. Um, and I'm going to start placing my grips. Um, if, I, if I get enough time, I'm going to go to the hardware store and get a screw to mount the, uh, the grip to. And the back grips, I'm being told by my friend that it's actually riveted. I got some rivets up there. If they don't work, then I'm going to have to hunt down the correct rivets. But I also have some parts from GB fans coming, um, like the hat lights and um, what else? Some stuff like that. I got to replace the screws down here with the accurate screws. I also need to make a, it's actually pretty ugly. It's just aluminum block that they roughly cut and put underneath there. Freaky Geeky has this beautifully machined um, disc in there for it. Um, but... Yeah, so this actually has the pop neck and the swivel neck. Um, I had to modify the pop neck. Uh, this was Freaky Geeky's personal thrower for one of his builds. And um, I actually didn't wait very long for it either. Uh, I reached, I remember, I distinctly remember reaching out to him and saying, I want to be put on the list. And he's like, dude, I got one right here. Uh, it's my own personal one. I need to sell it to, fu to fund another project. Buy it now. I brought it right then and there. So that was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. But, uh, so I'm gonna take this apart. There's a lot of pieces. Um, I think tonight's video is just gonna be a mock-up for this, for this stuff. Um, so I also wanna build a shelf to put a potentiometer here. A lot of guys will just put the potentiometer on the crank knob on the pack. But when you do that, there's a wire that goes from the electronics up to the crank knob. When you take the shell off, it's still connected. I don't want any of that. I want to remove the bolts to the shell and the shell come completely off and everything stays, whoop, everything stays on the motherboard. So that's what, that's the way I'm going to go. So my first step tonight is to go over a bunch of reference and uh, we're going to drill for this.
All right, um, I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. I'm gonna go into the basement and start making some paper templates to then convert over into CAD to 3D print. I also have to dig out the flashlight domes that I, uh, I got from the dollar store to, to fit in there. So uh, I'm gonna take this into the basement and start making some paper templates. So, oh, you know what, no. We're gonna make this tonight. So this, I put the knob, these knobs in the right orientation of the superhero and when I realized this one here, when going over the reference I realized this one here is actually up and this uh, recess is deeper. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now before, uh, before we lose power because there's a thunderstorm rolling in. But uh, I'm going to do that right now, right before we go uh, into the basement. Yep. Oh, thank you. My mother just made me dinner. I literally live in this shed.
one hell of a rainstorm passing. So I've taken it apart, but I've come to the conclusion I need to leave some of the stuff back inside here. So now I'm going to go into the basement and start making some paper templates to transfer this over into CAD and start printing up some walls in here and brackets for all the electronics. You saw tonight that I drilled the hole for the wires to chase through and I need to drill one more hole right about here for them to go underneath the grip and into the box. So now I'm going to go back into the basement and make some templates for all the electronics. I just threw away a blue. I just threw away a blue. <laughs> I got some reds. I could use some red. Yeah, this is a fancy dancy red though. I could use red and kind of make a lightning bolt of that. Yeah, that's orange. Yeah, this is brand new. If you want to use these to paint it. Yeah. We'll paint it later. Yeah. Well, you have a time too. We'll tape up. We'll tape tape the trucks off of it and the wheels, and then we'll paint it over there. Okay. All right. See ya. Well, bye. Love ya. Love you.
outside for a few minutes and then you decorate it. Like, at least change some stuff about it. Absolutely not. Why not? You like it how it is? I like it how it is. Why? You know how much you can change? We're not changing anything. We, we can change the floors? No. No. It still works. But just the... Uh, I'm half a doll. I'm almost 13. No. Yeah. You're w far away from 13. Let me tell you. Um, he's still working on, um, your... your, your Uncle Dean's got, got only a few more days till Halloween. Really? Yep. Ooh, that's bad. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Uncle Danny. Uh, how long did it take you to make all the big stuff? It took you... Big what? Big stuff? Um, the... The lightsabers. It takes me a long time to make a lightsaber. About two months. Two months? Yeah. Well, that's a lot. It is. So I think you could finish it by time. What, the proton pack? Yeah. I don't know about that. Oh, this is the outline for it, right here. Yeah, that's the back. Whoa. I don't think Mom and Sophie doesn't like being in the parade. Huh? Mom and Sophie doesn't like being in the parade. That's too bad for Pete. <laughs> Really? Yeah. She'll put a Nini in it. Nini can't walk anymore. She got uh, a bum hip. She can walk. And a to, knee. She can walk to uh Yaya's. She can walk to get a coffee, that's for sure. I want to. I want to return Ginny and get a black cat. I want. I want to return both cats. What? What? Yeah. Okay. Both of them. Both of them gotta go. Why? Because we don't need. We don't need the cats. You. You want. You want. A black cat. I don't want any cats. Why not? Because. Then what do you want? We have to nothing. have one. Nothing. I don't want anything. Our fish. Yeah. Our Take the sandpaper sand this whole bottom outside. Don't breathe the dust in. What dust? Do it outside. Oh. How do you sandpaper? Come here. I'll show you. you ready? Come here. Come here. Coming. Okay. I want to teach you how to use the sandpaper. Ready? Small circle, small circle, small circle, small circle. And how do you know when you're all done? The sandpaper will tell you. Now go. Wait, really? Small circle, small oh. circle. Yeah. Don't breathe in the dust. Don't breathe in the dust? No.
So I actually haven't worked on this thing in a couple of days. I've had a very hectic uh, week. So today I decided to bang out a lot of stuff and um, take a big chunk out of the gun and mount the frame to the motherboard. The proton pack is still with the welder. Like I said, I've had a very hectic week. I have not had the time to go there. Um, I, I went there early this morning and he wasn't there. I, I knew he wasn't going to be there, but I tried anyway. Hopefully Monday I'll swing in and, and pick up the pack and then start finalizing everything. We're, we're really getting to the end here. If you're new to the channel and don't mind subscribing, it really goes a long way. I want to thank you all for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video. This is Hallowax. Out. <laughs>